Piano Slam gives youth a voice through their love of music. I found out about Piano Slam through a teacher, and she suggested that I submit my poetry there. I did not expect to win. I thought that performing and writing were completely two opposite ends of the spectrum. They couldn't intersect. The Drown of Two Piano Foundation brings its award-winning pianists from all over the world to perform live classical music in schools. The teens hear the music and write poetry about its role in their lives. Piano Slam invites thousands of young people to enter their words into a community-wide competition where the very best are selected by acclaimed writers and poets. Since 2009, Piano Slam has given young people new skills to write and speak about their passion, and then sets the winners on stage as a part of an ensemble of professional artists to be recognized by their peers, their family, and the entire cultural community. Crescendo, the stars and what they become. This gale inflames us, withers us, in and out of existence, whispers in the mouthpiece of a flute. Somebody tell me would it ever stop on my block. Lastly, the six, where I drove through the seams of time, first to the future where peace advanced and prospered, then to the past where sin and deception conquered. I might be the light version of Langston Hughes because I too sing America. Music lives on in my city. Music lives in each one of us. So let me be your Mozart, let me be your Beethoven, better yet, let me be me. understand it was so hot sand as far as the eye could see sand and teeth a sealess life you have to understand we forgot how to be thirsty mud by then was primitive splashing the stuff of legend only giddiness quenched us we were dizzy all the time in the world all the time in the world then we heard him grumbling to himself, something about 40, something about a flood. Clad in sheep's wool, he reeked of wolf, something about monogamy, something about shelter. I thought, this must be heat stroke. I thought, the brain of a 600-year-old. I thought, he is a conceptual artist. The arc and installation, his masterpiece took years, took trees, got bigger. He was our favorite dirty joke, beloved schizophrenic neighbor. Then he started preaching. Then he kidnapped pigs, mosquitoes, doves. If Noah had been more merciful, he would have taught us how to swim. Instead, he saved two mice, muttered prayers, shut the door. 
The best belly dancers became mermaids. The dinosaurs learned to fly. I, uh, I, I never saw a rainbow. Our gravestones, coral reef.